Hi everybody, welcome back to the Lake Effect Gardener. My name is Jim and it is February the 14th, which is Valentine's Day. It's a Sunday and it's also the beginning of my February break. I have a week off from school. So of course, as weeks off from school goes, I'm here to bring you more content. And honestly, that's not really the excuse that I'm gonna be using because I really can't get on with pretty much anything right now garden-wise. But this week, I'm definitely going to be bringing you some content for sure because there are seeds that are going to need to be planted. But today, we're not going to do that. I'm going to save that video for the next few days. Today, I'm going to be showing you what is going on in my garden. Needless to say, it isn't much. In fact, Nothing's going on in my garden. Well, there's only one thing that's going on right now in my garden, and that is snow, lots of snow. So February typically is in Western New York, cold and snowy. Although I have to say in recent years, it really hasn't been. And this is the first February that I can remember in maybe the past five years where we have actually had significant snowfall throughout the month. The cold is another story. We always get freezing cold temperatures in February. That's par for the course. Those what we call Alberta clippers are coming down, the polar vortex coming down from Canada, and then it you know descends into the lower 50, lower 48, or whatever you want to call it, um, <laughs> and it sticks around for a while. So that's what we're dealing with here. Normally, this time of year, I would be packing up. In fact, that would be happening right now. I would be at the airport on my way to sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida for a couple of days of rest and relaxation. But due to the pandemic, um, that is not happening this year. Which really makes me sad because that's kind of the, that's the midway point, it's the respite that I need to just kind of refuel and to get me back on my feet so that I can conquer the rest of the school year, the rest of the winter, all of those things. But never mind, um, there'll be many more opportunities to go, hopefully in the future. So I thought today we'll bundle up, made a fire, it's nice and cozy in here. We're gonna bundle up, go outside, and we're gonna go take a look at the garden as it is right now. So. Why don't you do the same? Get yourself some boots, really, really heavy ones. Bundle yourself up in layers and come and join me for a very uneventful garden tour. I'm gonna take you back into the garden to see what's going on. Uh, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of snow. It hasn't really changed in about a week. And I haven't been in the garden for about a week, so. Uh, <clears throat> it's just miserably cold out here. So everything is well covered. All the paths are covered. All the beds are covered. Um, I have a couple of things that are growing back here. I don't know how well they're doing. This is the small raised bed that I created last summer and the rosemary seems to be hanging on which I'm really excited about because we have a hard time overwintering rosemary here I don't it's just too cold our our temperatures dip down so low that they never survive so I'm really I'm really gunning for this rosemary to make it through until spring and if you can see just a tiny bit little peak there some sage poking up and that looks to be weathering the storm as well and lav the lavender over here uh, i can't i can't tell if it's alive or dead but let's hope it's uh the former and not the latter and i did take down all of my canes as you saw in my last video i took down all of the fencing that i had around the beds i'm going to refigure that reconfigure, I should say. I'm gonna reconfigure that this spring, depending on the crops that I'm growing. And there's one other thing that is growing. I can't really see it, 
but it's in the brassica bed and i don't know if it's still alive or not it was when i was out here at the end of january and it's right here oh it's just frozen solid yeah oh there's about an inch of ice on it as well i've got a tote covering up the red vein sorrel that I was growing this past summer. And uh, there, there was a little sign of life there. So I threw a tote over it to protect it. It'll be interesting to see if it actually made it through. So as my friend Brian Brown from Brian's Jersey Garden would say, right now here in Buffalo, we are just growing snow. And this cold weather is just relentless. It's not giving up. We still have another couple weeks of temperatures in the single digits and in the teens. There, every single time I look at the long range forecast, there's always the sign of hope that we're gonna be up into the 30 degree mark in that area. It may still be considered freezing, but in comparison to what we're dealing with now, um, it's gonna seem like a freaking heat wave. So, February tour, uh, not much going on, friends, but that's to be expected. This really has been the, the coldest, snowiest February that we've had in, a, in about five years, I'd say. So, you know, we've got lots of plans still brewing. I am really, really anxious to get out here, but as you can see, my anxiety for that is just gonna have to wait because this white stuff isn't going anywhere anytime soon. But there are jobs that I will be getting on indoors and uh, that will be my next video up. But as I said, I was going to give you a tour every month. And so here it is. Now my, my herbs slash herbs here in this little pot seem to be doing okay. There's some thyme and some rosemary in there. That's yeah that's doing well, so it's hanging in there. That's all you got to do this time of year is just hang in there and wait. So there we go, friends. I will be getting the heat turned on in the greenhouse very soon. I have an electric heater in there. It has two heating options. I could either do 900 watts or 1200 watts. Um, and I have it on a timer, so usually what I'll do is I will turn the heat on via this timer, usually around the time the sun sets, because that's when we, you know, lose the daylight, lose the solar power to heat it. So that will be going on when the sun sets, staying on all evening, and then turning off as the sun rises. Just kind of want to get that greenhouse cleaned up as well. So there we go. I'm freezing my joints out here, so I'm gonna head back inside. Not much going on, is there? It's to be expected. This is what Buffalo is like this time of year. So for those people who are living in this area, this is nothing new for you. For those people who aren't from this area, for people who are in other countries, this is par for the course. So just going to, it's a big waiting game. That's all it is. From now until probably the beginning of March, we're going to be having these cold frigid temperatures, ice pack, snow, what have you. I was looking back at my old pictures from last year and it was about the first week of March where things started to start to improve. So we're only a few weeks out from that. It's not gonna take long. Time has been flying. So even when we get to that point, there's not much that I'm going to be able to do once everything has thawed because as I've mentioned a million times, my backyard tends to be a complete mud pit. So we'll let the garden rest. We'll let the garden do its thing. In the meantime, I'm going to start sowing seeds, which is going to be my next video. The very first seeds I'm going to be sowing. So that's really exciting. I am anxious as all get out to get that second polytunnel up and running because once the seeds start going into the soil 
that means they're going to need a place to go. Now for the interim, I have a small area where I can keep my seedlings. But in the long term, especially when we get into March, April, when the massive sowings begin, I'm going to need a place to put things. Now I'll have the greenhouse, which will be great, but I need that tunnel up like you wouldn't believe for the amount of planting that I do. So I should say for the amount of sowing that I do. So that's really going to be, I'm, I'm going to strap on my wellies and, and, you know, trudge through the mud and do what I can as soon as I can to get that tunnel up. So next video will be out soon, next couple of days. One last thing before I say goodbye to you, just a quick little story. Uh, last night I was hanging out with some of my friends in downtown Buffalo my friends Derek and Troy they have a lovely lovely home oh it's just absolutely gorgeous and they had some friends over and there were some people there that I had met briefly <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> but never really got to know so I was reintroduced to them and one person in particular said I follow you on YouTube or Facebook or whatever which is really exciting it's it's really exciting to hear people you know, and meet people that I really haven't gotten to know personally, but they have gotten to know me through this channel. So to Joe and to Jay, <laughs> um, it was great meeting you guys last night. And uh, I really am looking forward for you guys to come down here and see the garden in person. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys are well. I hope you're staying warm. I definitely have to throw another log on the fire because the fire is dying down right now. So I'm going to bid you so long and i will see you all very very soon very soon when i can finally get my fingers in some soil take care everybody goodbye